Hi, I'm Ellie at the Bead Gallery and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beaded talisman. This is perfect for a gift for anyone, boy or girl. You can use gemstones, crystals, handmade glass beads, and it's super fun and easy to make. It takes less than five minutes. So I'm going to show you how to start. I am taking a piece of two feet, um, two pieces of two feet each of our thread called Super Mac. It is a sturdy nylon cord. I've never broken this with my bare hands, so you're in good hands. The usual. Okay, I'm gonna fold it in half. And this time we're gonna try and make this loop big enough to go over the hand so you can just wear your talisman and play around with it all day. Okay, so I'm gonna stick um, the largest part of my hand, which is by my knuckles, into the loop to size it. And let's say my hand is gonna be like this when I slip it over. So I'm gonna make my knot right where I'm pinching it. Take my knot out. You're gonna to wanna to get in close to see this. I'm gonna make a loop with my fingers and take all this um, thread, go through my loop and cinch it to close. Okay. It's easy to pull your knot when you don't have nails you can also use the help of your trusty tweezers if you need. So I'm going to pull each strand apart to get this knot tight. And there we have the beginning of our talisman. Okay, we're going to slip the bead onto the part with the um, loose ends. So I'm going to thread the bead in. And if your bead can't accommodate the four threads, um, you can try using a thinner thread. I don't recommend this because I really like this thread and how thick it is and the way the knots sit in it. So it's best to find a bead with a big hole. This is what it's going to look like. You can see it's starting to form. I'm going to make another knot below it. This one you might want to use a tweezer because you're going to want to get that knot close to the bottom. I'm going to pull each strand to cinch it close. And this is the fun part. With each of these loose ends, we can put beads on. You can tie the beads on, um, multiple beads on each strand, or you can tie on single beads on the strand, whichever you prefer. For this one, I'm just going to show you how to do multiple beads on one and one bead on the other, so you get the idea. Okay, starting. I'm going to take a bead and thread it on. And you can figure out where you want your bead to lay. I want mine here. So I'm gonna pinch where I want my bead, um, where I want my knot, and use my other hand to slide the knot over. And again, you can use your tweezers if you need. I like to use my fingers. And that's how you put one bead on. Now you're gonna want to if they want to use tweezers, how can they learn how to do that technique? And if you want to learn tweezers, we also have a YouTube video for that. It's called Knotting with Jamie. So Jamie will be teaching you how to knot with tweezers instead of your fingers. That will get you a tighter, more precise knot. It's good for jewelry making. Since this is a talisman, I'm just using my fingers because it is quick and easy. So you can see the one with multiple beads. Now if you wanted to do a single bead, you just stop right here. And you can have your beads hanging as low as you want or as high as you want. Okay, thank you. And if you like our videos, you can like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We try to post videos once every week so you can stay tuned and check it out. Thank you. Aloha. Bye-bye.